Hello everyone, I would like to show you how to take notes on any Android tablet. So I used to do this back in 2020. You can see I used uh, two applications, Note Shelf and Samsung Notes. Now, if you have a Samsung tablet, uh, you're going to be able to get Samsung Notes. Otherwise, you're not. So if you do have a Samsung tablet, I will have my dedicated video in the description which covers Samsung Notes. However, you can see if a Note Shelf perfectly usable, you can see 2020, I did use it to actually take notes. Uh, on my tablet and you know it was a pretty darn good experience overall uh you know it is what it is but i do recommend guys if you are planning on taking notes and you aren't using a samsung tablet and if you have a samsung tablet my video for that is in the description you get one of these so this allows you to just you know have better drawings because you know using your finger as a touch screen isn't the best if your tablet does come with one of these pens then you're perfectly fine but you need an input device which just makes note taking a lot better so i'll cover everything in note shelf right now it is sort of free from the google play store so first of all when it comes to the note shelf application you need to understand how to use the app so let's just go uh, to uh, the application itself and so you can see here we have a categories and if you tap on the plus here you can create a brand new category so let's just create uh, a brand new category real quick so we'll just do like this done create and you can see now we have essentially a folder where we can put all our notes so let's say you are a student you can have each folder for each subject if you don't want to create folders you can always just go to my notes here and all of your uh, notebooks will be in one place so you do not need to create a folder in order to just create a notebook now all we need to do is we just need to tap on the plus here in order to create a notebook so let's just tap on it here you can see we have quick create uh if we uh, tap into settings here you can change uh, all of you know how your uh, page is going to look so if you do want to do this which i do recommend personally you can obviously customize this i do recommend you don't use a plain document instead you use a ruled on uh, right here i'll we'll go back and then we'll just tap on quick create like so you also do have the option for a new notebook import documents this could be a pdf scan or a, another uh, whatever this application is called note shelf uh, document you can import a photo or scan document so let's just tap on quick create here and you can see it has created a brand new document so first of all uh, all we need to do is we need to learn how to use this application so you see that look here uh, well, how it works is uh, initially you can navigate you know using your fingers all that good stuff and when you want to take a note we need to do is you need to lock the page and when you lock the page, uh, what it will do is you can still swipe around, but you can't zoom in and out, right? And so this is useful because if you want to take your notes, your yes pen out, right around, and you can see it's not, you know, zooming in, zooming out on the page. Now, what we need to do is we just need to do a simulated, you know, uh, zoom and zoom out and you get the lock. You can tap on that to unlock. So when you are taking notes, you want to make sure that you are in the lock state because sometimes when you are taking notes, your palm will accidentally zoom in zoom out the uh, screen so it's just something to keep in mind now you do have the uh, tool itself so if you tap on it uh, you can see we have a bunch of options here so we can change the uh, size of the pen we can change the uh, pen type and we can change the color here as well if you swipe across you do have more options then we have the highlighter tool so this is used to highlight stuff so you can see here you know highlight all that good stuff if we tap on it we do have the same customization then we have the eraser and that can be used to erase stuff. Now, one thing to keep in mind, guys, is you don't need to tap on the eraser to erase documents. On the S Pen itself, you see that button, you hold on that button, and that's an example of what you're not meant to do. So you may have noticed uh, what I was trying to say is if you hold down uh, this button here, it will bring up the eraser tool. However, you can see it said it brought up the camera. The reason why is because the S Pen has to be decently close to the actual tablet itself for that to work. You can see now it's showing up the eraser by click, and release you can see there the s pen actually has to be closed if it's too far uh i've never really had this uh, mistake you know when i'm actually taking notes but of course i'm you know recording the video so yeah you do need to make sure you are close and then you can see you make the note hold down on the button and erase and it really is intuitive uh i do think in some ways this is actually better than the apple pencils double tap to change because sometimes the double tap doesn't register uh, i do i do think though the physical button uh, you do need to, it's a bit of a learning curve to actually get the right positioning uh, but once you do get the positioning everything is great and you have the uh, text tool here so you just double tap and it'll create a brand new text field you see the uh, side here this is where you can change everything and if you just grab the borders i accidentally screwed up there so i lost my text note if you grab the borders you can see you can move this around as well and of course you can type enter and you just minimize here 
tap on the empty space and you're good to go. Double tap again uh, inside of the uh, box and you can edit the text right here. So I'm going to personally do, so I'm just going to remove all this text and I'm just going to go like that. Tap on the empty space and you can now see the uh, text box has been removed. Then we have the select tool here. So all you need to do is just select an area like so. So what this is going to do is it's going to grab all this stuff right here. So you have all these options and what you can do with the pen itself is you can use it. It's a bit glitchy. So you took me two attempts there, but you can see I can use it to move the text around. So let's say I was writing and I was like this and then I was like that by accident. If I wanted to move this O next to everything else, I will just select, takes two attempts, move just like that. We're good to go. If I wanted to move the text, select everything drag just like that so then you have the uh, no s pen mode here so what this does it just means that you can navigate the um you know the application with the s pen uh without you know having you know any drawings or select tools made if you want to get out of this mode you just select another mode and just like that you are good to go now we have this uh, shape option here so if it's uh grayed out like this it's not on you tap on it to turn it on so what this means is every drawing you do will be recognized as a shape so if i draw a circle you can see it will make a nice and perfect circle Let's do a um, parallelogram. It looks a bit like more like a rhombus, but I'm sure I didn't do each side perfectly. So you can see it drew a parallelogram here. Let's do a triangle. <laughs> kind of screwed that one up. Let's try that one more time. And oh my, I'm not the uh, the best artist, but there you go. You can see it does draw a triangle right here. So let's turn that off. Then we have the share feature. So you can share the current page, all pages, all selected pages, and you can share that to social media or to the files app. Let's say you want to pull it on the next external SSD, you can do that as well. And then you have the pages here. So what you may notice is there's only one page, right? And if you tap on edit, you can see the only option is to duplicate a page. However, what if you just want to create a brand new page outright? So if you have one page only, you can either swipe uh, to the left or swipe to the right, and then you just tap on add a new page right here. You can also add from a template, photo, import, and uh, document scan. So we'll just tap on add a new page. It will use the presets as you used earlier. And you can see in order to go through each page, you have to swipe left or swipe right. If you swipe to where there is no page, it will ask you, of course, to create a new one. And another thing as well is if you tap on here, you can tap between both pages like so.